follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Where they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. This must have happened recently. Hmm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Impressive. You got a keen eye. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Taking the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Hey, slow it down a bit. 
Go right at the crossroads. Well, sounds like you fellas got your work cut out for you around here. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. A drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. You've been saying that? The word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. You know, you're a fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take this way. Let's stop. With these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea, Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out. I'll get this feller trussed up. with the other. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, you make it real funny, don't you? Tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear.
We got men over here! Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here with our friends notice. John's gone. My men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin... Webster. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. 
It's got Jose written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Don't arrest me, Arthur.
Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh. How do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. But I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Some beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Make a spot. I'm seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Bait with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. You get many bites there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. They barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm, I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Karen Vanderlyn is gonna stick. Not too fast, you could break the line. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now, see if you can hook another. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? 
The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. Hey, There's some watch the line. Oh, hey, I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh, just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Well, take care. Hey, wait up! Are you coming then? I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I hope we land this monster. Nah. Catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Well, uh, just think now, you... Never be alone again. It might be putting up one hell of a fight. Nice catch. But that's not the big one we saw. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified one of the homeless boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time. They're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. 
If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. Bet you got the big one there. Not sure, but he feels big. No, that's not it. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to Camp Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later.